Hello everyone, hope you're doing wonderful today. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to combine two resin effects that I've done before, the vein effect and the 3D flower. So let's get started. I'm using uh, a medium viscosity resin. Uh, personally, I just feel that the medium viscosity resin gives uh, the best effect for 3D flowers as well as for the vein effect. So I've already mixed my resin and hardener and uh, allow it to rest uh, until it reaches the right consistency to make the make the flowers so for the vein effect i'm going to be using a mica powder which is white color and an opaque pigment to have taken pink so and then in the middle i'm going to make a 3d flower with alcohol inks and a white opaque pigment so if you see in my vein effect video i mentioned there that you don't need to wait for any specific time to make uh, make the or to pour your resin so once i've allowed it to rest for 10 minutes uh, you know you mix the pigments and then pour the resin but here since i'm also making a 3d flower i have waited for the resin to reach the right consistency so approximately I think for this I've waited uh, approximately around 30 minutes so this will be different for different brands of resin so please do keep that in mind so I'm going to be mixing the mica powder first so I'll be doing the vein effect first so for that I'm mixing white mica powder in a little bit of resin no measurements I'm just eyeballing here so mix the resin and the mica powder really really well since it's in powder form make sure that all the powder gets mixed with the resin so next i'm mixing the opaque uh, pink pigment with a little bit of resin again i've just uh, taken what i think is uh, appropriate for this uh, mold and I'm mixing a little bit of uh, pigment in the resin and mixing it really nicely. Once all the pigments uh, have mixed nicely with the resin, it's time to pour it into the mold. So first I'm pouring the mica powder mixed with resin. Follow it up with clear resin along the borders and then pour the opaque pigment on the clear resin. Once that is done, put the rest of the clear resin right in the middle. If you want to see a detailed process of just this effect, please click on the link above. I have a separate video on the vein effect. I'm using the heat gun to just uh, remove a little bit of the air bubbles and I'm going to leave it as it is for about 2 to 3 minutes. After 2 to 3 minutes it's time to make the 3D flowers and I'm using uh, alcohol inks and uh, resin mixed with the white opaque pigment to make the flowers. So I have a lot of videos on this so click on the link above to see a detailed video on this
so to summarize i mix my resin waited it for it to reach the right consistency and then started the pouring process i started with the vein effect followed by the 3d flowers so make sure to make the 3d flowers before uh, the pigment starts pigments from the border start to come towards the middle the design is uh, pretty much done so now we are going to allow the resin to do its thing we'll allow this to fully cure and come back after 24 hours to see what we got It's been 24 hours so it's time to demold let's see what we have here here we go all right check it out so we've got the 3d flower in the middle and uh, a background of uh, pink and white what do you think so i did try the petri effect right so i can't i can't see any any of that it's just uh, just the petals but still looks cool so so here's another one again i've taken uh, a medium viscosity resin so for the, my mica powder i'm taking the color lavender and i will use uh, the white opaque pigment and in, in the middle i'll make uh, a pink color 3d flower So the process is exactly similar to the previous one.
So it's been 24 hours so let's um, let's demold the coaster and there you go so it's basically like a two in one you get a 3d flower in the middle and a background at the same time so do try this out guys it's a very easy process and uh, do, do tag me on my instagram channel Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, comment, like and share. I'll see you soon in the next one.